tell people is that I'm an artist trapped in a truck driver's body. I love pain. It, it's kind of like the it's my the reason for my existence. And driving just gave me the money for good materials. All work is good. One work isn't better than the other. You make, you make enough money to uh, to survive and continue to work. Was kind of, it was in the family. My father had a, uh, had a dump truck. And then my brother became a truck driver. And I wasn't cut out for you know, factory work. And also at that time, when I was younger, you could take a month off. So you know, if I work four days and make enough money, I can buy the paints, live, and then have three, four days off. So I mean, it, it worked out. I've been doing it for 39 years, and I got 4.75 million miles, no accidents. Each month, I basically do about 10,000 miles. This is my living conditions. I think under the Geneva Convention, as a prisoner, I would have to have a bigger square footage. I do a different type of driving now than when I first started which I deliver to hardware stores. So I have the same route over and over. Yeah, yeah I get familiar with it. Every corner, every, every dog, every, you know, everything. I paint outside on location and I'm able to see each day, even if I'm doing the same route, every day is a different day. I tried to finish my painting in one setting because the next day if I went there, it's a different scene, it's a different day, and I'm a different person. But outside, it's the world's largest studio. This is where I work. And I've sold a lot of work. I'm very happy about it, and I'm very fortunate that I'm in people's houses. And that's what I really like about painting, is that I can have my painting in someone's house, and they enjoy it. That really means a lot to me. Did you, have a, did you have a name, a handle? Yes, I had a Captain Beefheart.